Hello students! Welcome to Math and Magic. For this video, we will talk about rectangular coordinate system. To begin with, I want you to look at this plain whiteboard. If I will place a point, let's say on this part, and then I will ask you to describe its location, more likely you will find it difficult, right? But if we draw grid lines, the location of the point can be easily and systematically identified, whether it is to the left or to the right, or above or below a specific line. For instance, say this point is point C. It is located to the right of the vertical line Y and above the horizontal line X. This concept is often applied in navigations and maps, like in this world map. If we are to locate the Philippines, we would notice these important imaginary lines, namely the prime meridian and the equator. Relative to these lines, the Philippines is to the right of the prime meridian and above the equator. This idea of describing a point on the plane was systematized by a 17th century French mathematician and philosopher, René Descartes. This system that relates the correspondence between the points on a plane to a pair of real numbers is called the rectangular coordinate system. Now as a tribute to Descartes' invention, it was later named after him and called this system as Cartesian coordinate system. The Cartesian coordinate system uses two coplanar perpendicular number lines. The horizontal number line is called x-axis, while the vertical number line is called the y-axis. Now, the point of intersection of this axis is called the origin. Its coordinate or the numerical descriptive reference of a point from the two axes is at 0, 0. Here, the first number is called the x-coordinate or abscissa. On the other hand, the second number is called the y-coordinate or ordinate. Here, all positive values are on top and right side of the origin, while negative values are below and left side of the origin. Also take into notice that our plane is now divided into four regions. These regions are what we call quadrants. Here we begin at the upper right part, we call this as quadrant 1. In this region, the values of x and y are both positive. Rotating counterclockwise, quadrant 2 will be on the upper left side of the origin. Here, the value of x is negative and for y, that is positive. Quadrant 3, lower left side from the origin, has x and y values of negative. And lastly, quadrant 4, in this region, the value of x or abscissa is positive and for y or the ordinate is negative. Also, there are cases wherein a point is placed along the x and y axis. In which case, we just need to remember that a value on the right side of the origin is for positive x axis, left side is for negative x axis. Meanwhile, a point above the origin is for the positive y-axis and below the origin is for the negative y-axis. Now let us use these mentioned properties to plot the following points and identify their locations. For point A, it has the coordinate negative 3, positive 5. Here we will set the origin as our starting point. Then recall that the first number is for x value, and since it is negative, we will move 3 units from the origin going to the left. Now from here, we locate the value of y. In this example, y coordinate is at positive 5. And as we know, positive value of y is found above the origin. So from this point, we will move 5 units upward. Thus, point A is at this location and is at quadrant 2. Next, point B is at positive 5, positive 2. 
From the origin, we will move 5 units to the right because x coordinate is positive 5 and then 2 units upward since y value is positive 2. Thus, point B is in quadrant 1. After this is point C with coordinates of negative 4, negative 1. Again, from the origin, we will move 4 units to the left since x is equal to negative 4 and 1 unit downward because y is equal to negative 1. Hence, point C is at quadrant 3. Item letter D has coordinates positive 3, negative 4. From the origin, this point is 3 units to the right and 4 units downward. Therefore, point D is at quadrant 4. Now, point E with coordinates 0, positive 5. Here, we will no longer move to left or right because the value of x coordinate is 0. Now, since y is equal to 5, we will move 5 units upward. Thus, point E is at positive y-axis. And lastly, when asked to locate the point 0, 0, it is at the origin. After we plot and determine the location of a point, let us now put it into a real-life situation. Assume that you are a pilot. Your task is to deliver goods to a remote area somewhere in Babuyan Islands. Now given a map where one unit is approximately equal to 74 kilometers, determine the coordinate of the island relative from the airport in Manila. Here we will first construct an imaginary grid lines where Manila is the origin, counting relative distances, clearly the island is 1 unit to the right and 7 units above the origin which is Manila. Thus, Babuyan Islands is at coordinate positive 1 and positive 7. Now using the map's direction and assumption that 1 unit is approximately equal to 74 kilometers, Hence, we can say that the coordinate of Babuyan Island is at 74 kilometers east and 518 kilometers north. For additional information, the words coordinate, abscissa, and ordinate as now used in mathematics were introduced by a 17th century German mathematician, Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz. Thank you for watching. God bless.